Okay, now let's go in and give some subtle details to some of the uh, the darker regions we got here, and just basically make some um, some pipes. And it's uh, really not too much different than um, what we did with the uh, these lines over here. And, and uh, in fact, I'll show you that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a line and set it to a solid width of one, and we'll just come through here and just give. The subtle impressions of, I mean, it, it might be a pipe. It could be the outline of some sort of um, interior uh, polygon or something like that that uh, you just can't see much of. And once again, if we just give it a slight little color change, you know, moving down here, catching a bit of the light, it uh, it can really add a lot to it. And you know what? Maybe let's make this about 1.5 because. It, the, these parts typically 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 get a little bit thinner when we go and uh, convert lines to fills, and that's what I just did there. Uh, and, and as you might have noticed, I don't care too much about naming little parts like that. Uh, I do like to get them into a symbol, though. Uh, so let's keep this going. I'm going to go with. I'll start with the darker one, and yet again, just do some things like this. Don't think it uh, necessarily has to make too much sense. Let's go for a. Uh, I know I've got some grays that are kind of midway between that darkest one or darker one. And actually, let's go ahead and make this um, one of the lighter ones again. And of course, once it's a line or a fill shape, you can always go and kind of taper them off like that. Just add that little bit of extra detail. Uh, let's go pick on a different region for now. You could always go in and put um, some rounded shapes in here. I know we haven't really rounded much of anything in this tutorial. I think if you're going to do it, now might be the time. So let's make it a little bit lighter. I'm just going to bring these in so they're not right up against the that surface. And actually, you probably noticed a little bit of that piping in here. This is another thing we could do. We could go in and grab just one of these circles here, right? Let's uh, take it back out and we'll just break it apart. And then hit F8 on this. And I'll probably need to tint it a little bit, but um, we could put it up against some of our existing pipe, like so. And just have these kind of, I don't know, just places in here that, that for some reason or another add a little bit of a, or have retained a little bit of their shine, I guess. Maybe it's a Maybe it's a newer part or something like that. And you could do that, um, do that anywhere really. We could come over here and do that on the arm. Let me look at something real quick. Okay. Looks all right. I think we can 
repeat this. Sorry if you noticed a little jump in the video there. Someone texted me. <laughs> and um, you could um, you could kind of offset these a little bit. Do something like that. I think in the right place it could look good. And by the right place I don't mean right there. Might even work as visually it might even work as some sort of um other tube go running up along there. Uh, over there it's not too bad. Uh let's see. The the problem is that we've got this kind of counter pipe running in the background. I don't think the two are gelling together necessarily. But that's actually starting to fit in there okay. Let's uh let's stretch them out just a little bit again. Well, tweak it will. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna make that just a little darker. Let's go and uh, let's do a few more of those little these little pipes like that. I think those make a big difference in some places. Go and oops, wrong layer. going to convert it to a fill shape or I was going to try to that part disappeared on me and let me just go in looks like my lines are set to being rounded which is not always great so we could do lots more of that um, you could even consider maybe doing some thicker ones that uh, just kind of run along with uh, parts that you already have for example like that little piece jutting out might make it a little darker though this is sort of some random random stuff that actually looks kinda cool because of that little bit of piping there let's uh... let's change the color on the bend and uh, add it add it to these ones as well I'll just make all that into one symbol well no maybe I shouldn't Let's make these two the darker line. And maybe we'll just take the same shape and put it somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Well, another thing we could do is. Um, add in some more of these lines they do look really good so what the heck let's try it I'm gonna do I'm gonna try 1.5 and we could throw them into um, some of our negative spaces here this might look nice Blue lines. I don't know why I'm labeling these. 
days. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I, I copied the, uh, the same filter that I had on one of the other ones, so let me just go ahead and paste that in. And did I paste that in? No, there it is. It's uh, maybe a bit much. Let me take this strength down. There we go. So it's 4-4 four, four high and 200 on the uh, on the old strength meter. Let's uh, let's do that in a few other places. And do uh, convert lines to fills, and it's going to try tapering that one. Err. Well, it probably won't matter when the glow is there, but got to remember to watch out for stuff like that. In fact, I'll take my line tool now and set the cap back to main square before I forget. Okay, make it into a symbol. Let's uh, paste in that filter. Oh, that's the one that's too much. Let's go ahead and copy this one for our clipboard. Copy all filters. Paste it in. That looks cool. The kind of extended line on there. Probably be a good idea to taper this off those maybe not so much and let's see do it one more time over here part of the reason I, I, I like this is that I think it kind of gives us, uh, well, it feels like it's a power source for this robot. So maybe if you could justify it being in here and exposed is, uh, is that, I don't know, the engineers can quickly see if uh, all the parts are running. <laughs> I don't know. Delete off that part and taper it in a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. And let's see. Well, you know, we could even um, could even do this in a few places over here too. Worst case, we delete it if we don't like it. Uh, I probably shouldn't have made those the, the same symbol, just because they're on two different regions. If I was going to try to um, even subtly animate this one day, You know what? It might be kind of fun to uh, zoom in here and put in. Let me do it on this one. Put in some little sparks. Maybe make them even smaller than that. Do it over here too, I dig it. I'm digging it. Let's just move this over a little bit though. Oh, 
Okay. Um, we could definitely do some uh, some of those lines over here too. Let's take one one quick pass at that, and then we'll uh, kind of everybody work on their own. And where should these go? Kind of don't want to cover up that pipe. Um, let's do some stuff back here. You know, these should probably just be that same color like those. I I imagine those being painted the same, but just they're kind of in silhouette right now. So let's. Let's just do something like that. Oh, we could always just put a couple pipes in, like here. I'll have to remember, though, to. Uh, hmm, it's not showing up too well, is it? And why is that? I guess it's. Let's work on the very most top layer, and is it just because this is so dark? Wow, that's interesting. There we go. Now it's now it's coming through. Convert lines to fills, hit F8, and then I'm going to put that behind everything else over there. Well, it's interesting. That kind of translates now. And I don't know. It's because it's getting tinted blue from this thing. It's, it sort of looks like one of our other little blue rods, but uh, I don't know. All right, maybe uh, just putting it behind this shape, making it a little darker. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. This might be a good shape to repeat too, because if we kind of made it a little smaller like that, could probably throw another one over there. Do some things like that. Kind of hard to see them, but um, I mean, unless you're zoomed in. Which you might be, so hey, what the heck? Let's, let's keep doing it. Just a little bit more detail. Um, you know what? <laughs> wow, I'm surprised I didn't catch that before. This big kind of hunky part of the chest is still in here. I guess we could leave it, but let's uh, make it a little bit more interesting back there. There it is. Okay, I think that's enough uh, <laughs> pipe work for right now. And uh, you guys can do plenty more on your own or just, uh, I don't know, leave it as it is. All right, uh, more to come.